Hey guys, and um, welcome back to Nomori. I am Studio, and this is the Kingdom of the Holy Slit. Um, at the end of the last episode, I said I was going to go check the Nomoria wiki and find out what got stored where, like what got stored in which medium, like bags, crates, or barrels. Obviously, barrels for drink, that's kind of obvious. Um, type of contents. Oh, right, never mind. Um, bags are basically used to store fibres, seeds, and wheat. So, this wheat straw here, um, that will get placed in bags as far as I can tell. It says that it stores wheat, so I'm, I'm guessing so. Uh, wheat, wheat straw will get stored in bags. Um, so, any fibres, any seeds, and any wheat. So, cotton fibre, yes, gets stored in uh, bags. The same as... Anything else? So grain will get stolen. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, only wheat or one type of seed can be stored in each bag. Right, okay. That's pretty cool. Um, and basically, crates are used for everything else. Apart from furniture. Furniture can't go in crates. But yeah, so that's, that's pretty easy. So, that's fibre seeds and wheat go into bags. And everything else is a crate. So meat we're going to create. Bodies do not. Uh, bread we're going to create. Sausages we're going to create. Uh, fruit we're going to create. Let's build storage crates. Pine crates. Obviously we can't build any crates right now because we ain't got any. I don't know if bones are going to create. It doesn't actually tell you. It doesn't tell you what doesn't go into crates, it just says certain items such as furniture don't go into crates. Which is useless for me. <laughs> uh, hopefully we'll be able to get some pine soon anyway. Because we will need pine, eventually. Sharpish. I'll just buy pine when the, uh, the trader comes back. Yeah, some of these haven't been placed yet. A lot of them have, but some of them haven't. Like these corner ones that could do with being placed. Yeah, that box of statue's not been placed, has it? I don't think it has. I think that's still... Uh, furniture. Yeah, yeah, I've still got two. So it's that one and that one. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, so it's the 12th day of fall, so we should be getting a nomad wave in the next day, which would be great. That's good, he's... Oh, the cotton band just must have been done. Oh, either that, no, that's because I told him to make a bloody bag. He's focusing that first. It's just annoying that they do that. Things that I tell them to do should be below. Well, not really. How many bandages have we got now? 14. Could really do a couple more. There we go, at least now the uh, the fibres can get placed in the bags. Whoa, 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 whoa. Thank God that someone was going down there and spotted that goblin. Oh, there's three goblins, Jesus. Three goblins on one guy. Who's this? This badass? Yeah, who is it? It's Growny. Growny's trying to redeem himself for the, uh, the time that he died. And he's trying to take on all the goblins himself in order to keep the act population alive. Hey, one goblin's died, let's see who killed it. Better being Growny. Is it Growny? Was it Growny? No, it's Dimp the Destroyer. Crushed his right lung. Oh, there's another dead goblin. <laughs> Fucking hell. Who was it that killed it? Mr. Bartowski kicks a goblin in the neck, smashing the skin and crushing the throat. That was ridiculous. Oh, and this other fucking goblin's gone. <laughs> We're going to be having goblin stew tonight, gentlemen. And it was Dimp as well. Fucking hell. This is why he's called Dimp the Destroyer. He just kicked the goblin and crushed his heart. Like, honestly. And my yaks are all fine. This yak was a fucking hero yak. Female yak. Yeah, yak's not doing too well. That's fine. <laughs> It'll recover. Yaks are, yaks are hardy animals. So that's fine. 
There's lots of bags here. But obviously I want them to get the bandages done first. I don't think anyone really need the bandage though. I still get done as soon as the bloody potch bellows are made. How are you doing? Still making butch sticks for torches. These are the only butch torches that are getting put down, so it shouldn't take that long to get them done, basically. Uh, furnace, making coal, just making coal out of fucking any log. We have not a lot of any log, <laughs> unfortunately. But as soon as these are all done, they'll start growing and it'll be fine. Holy fuck, I just realised that we are heading into winter. We've got a decent amount of food though. Uh, we've got yaks, that's good. Decent amount of food and some yaks. Perfect. That's all you need. That's all you need to survive your first winter. This is our first winter, Jesus Christ. It seems like we've done a lot of well, I have done a lot of episodes, you just haven't seen most of them. Stupid fucking... Mike fucking rubbish. <laughs> Ah, it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, so... We're getting there, we're getting there. It is now winter. God, that's horrible. It'd be nice if there was, like, snow or something. I don't... I don't understand this. I don't understand this... These stairs that are here. I don't... I just don't... Cancel job. Uh, remove designation? No. Mine... A wall? Will that work? No, terrain... No, it's not dig stairs down. I honestly think it's deconstruct. Ah, oh, wait a minute. That's actually deconstructed on the stairs instead of above the stairs now. That's weird. I don't know, we'll see if it deconstructs them now. No, that's still not away. Da! No, that's still not away. <laughs> uh, eventually, eventually they'll just leave, it's fine. What? Oh, fucking hell, someone's deconstructing them. Hey, stupid fucking steps. Next time I'm using ramps. <laughs> Fuck steps. So what are you doing, buddy? You're making orange wood planks, are you? That's good. It's fucking nothing uses orange wood. We've actually we're, we've got to, we've got to a stage where orange wood is what people are using. That's fantastic. I should go to check my woodsmiths. Uh, as far as I know, they do horticulture. Yeah, they do. And groves and pastures are there, so I don't know why pastures would be there for horticulture studio. Fucking dimwit. Eh, uh, this still hasn't been built. This is ludicrous. Basically because we're just waiting on everything else getting made. Z zero. Zero nomads have arrived. Oh, the, the zero nomads arrived from over here, did they? Alright, that's great. How can we not have upgraded the kingdom worth in that time? Surely... Surely we must have upgraded it with just these birch torches. Well, um, well, we must have upgraded the kingdom moth, but obviously we've not upgraded it enough. Son of a bitches. Son of a bitches. Indeed. Uh, sons of bitches. Sons of bitch. Son, son of a... Whatever. I was going to clean that floor, but nah. If you're not doing that, go fucking move stuff. Prick. Alright, what are you making, Taylor? More cotton bags. Needs a bolt of cloth. To which he needs cotton fibres. <laughs> to which there is a shit ton. So go and get a fucking wheelbarrow. And start wheelbarrowing. You scum. Mm, I would tell him to make more wheelbarrows, but we're having a distinct lack of planks at the moment. Ugh. Come on, guys. He's playing it. You guys, you guys here. Nah, uh, they're going outside to go and pick up the, uh, the thingies. The saplings now, which is good. We must have ran out of, like, most logs now. We've got three orangewood logs and 13 birch logs. Jeez, fuck. We're having log issues. 
But that's alright though, because as soon as we have log issues, what's going to happen is the woodsmiths, instead of doing woodsmithy things, they're going to come out here and actually do... Uh, real shit. <laughs> He's using the birch law, so fucking coal now, Jesus Christ. Just because I told him to make 64 coal. Uh, that's got 24 coal in it. Uh, he's still using up dirt to make slivers. That's fine. I'm bothered about that. Um, oh, there we go. He's making bandages now. That's good. Oh no, he's not. Apparently, he's still making. Oh no, I don't know what's going on. Don't know why he's not making cotton bags. Whatever. Maybe it's because for a bandage you need one. And for a bag you need one and uh, two and some string. So whenever one get yeah, that's what happens. Whenever one gets made, he's like, oh, one's made. I'll go make bandages then. <laughs> Considering I can't make the thing prior. Apparently, what happens is every time he makes a bandage, the guy who, the other, um, weaver, collects it and fucks off it. <laughs> oh God, God knows. Oh, there he is. Is he a weaver or no? That's Megs as the miner. Oh well, no mind then. I thought that was a weaver, don't know why. Lots of bags need made. Um, the good thing about these guys going out and collecting stuff is they will see some... Oh wow, we've got a lot of female yaks now. Actually, it's probably not, we've probably got two males. Oh no, just one male and four females. That's fine. Like, that says it just... Uh, exponential growth in the yak population the more females there is so I'm not bothered about that I'd rather like my gnomes eat some fucking bread or strawberries than and like get more yak potential if that makes any sense than uh, the meeting like then it just being like males every time oh there you go would you look at that all the lights uh, is that all the torches that is all the torches. Fantastic. So now we can make furniture, uh, drop these statues up. I'm also going to Google and see how you pronounce bauxite. I think it's bauxite. I'm not sure. Ah, there we go. They're placing them from the front as well. That's even better. Boom, and... And... You're a miner, aren't you? You do prospecting. Oh no, it's dimp, dimp the fucking jeweler. There's no jewelry to be made, so he just prospects constantly, 24 7. Guy's a veritable badass. Funny thing about this is all that dirt is technically stored, so they don't really care about it. <laughs> it's quite annoying. Oh, I just cracked my back. What's this? Strawberry seeds. I don't know why they're not being placed in the strawberry seed pile that's here. Oh, it's probably because the, uh, uh, strawberry seeds. Just fix that. Yeah, because there's only one bag in it. Oh, no, wait. The bags, the bags only hold up 16? No, no, it's hold up 32. Oh, no idea. No idea. Yeah, also the more female yaks we get, the more yak milk we get. Saving... And we're at 216 food, which should be enough, actually. <laughs> They're cutting the clippings so that they can plant more. That's brilliant. Oh, another yak is born. Oh, ah, that's fine. Um, basically because we've got an allowance for two males and two females, so we won't be getting any... Yeah, it's another male yak. We won't be getting any uh, butchery off of that just yet. But we will, eventually. This is the... Uh, the woodcutters are helping out now because there's nothing better to do. And when there's no... Oh, there's plenty... Oh no, that's orange clips. I was going to say there's plenty of pine clips, but no, that's orange clips. I'll get them to... Cut clippings here. I suppose. And that'll hopefully give them enough clippings to fill out that area. Oh no, they started chopping trees down. That's it. GG. Uh, 
Um, no, shit. No, you should be cutting clippings as well as planting saplings and felling trees. That's right. I do need you to cut clippings, plant saplings and fell trees. You don't need to pick fruit because they cut the clippings and pick the fruit. It's only if you do cut clippings and don't fell trees that you get any more. Ugh, brain's not working right. Yeah, so if you want to expand your groves, you need to cut clippings and don't fell trees so that the clippings grow back. But if you want to have something sustainable, you need to cut clippings and fell trees. So that's fine. We've got them, uh, is that, yeah, someone's out here now cutting clippings off of these trees I've told them to. That's good. That means that they'll fill up this, uh, this pine grove. Bum, 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 ba -dum, ba -dum, bum, 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 uh, Things are getting sorted, what's that? That's <laughs> wheat grain. They're, they're sorting out the wheat grain now so that he can keep them supplied in food. Uh, we will run out of wheat grain eventually. I'm guessing we've got enough uh, enough wheat to keep the yaks stacked. Oh yeah, that's what I was going to do as well. Storage, a bag, a cotton bag. And drop that there. If we can get alpacas, then I'll gladly get them because then they give you wool. And once you've got wool, you don't really need cotton anymore. Not like a mother, cotton's pretty good. There we go, so they'll, they'll go through all of them, cut all the clippings, and then just fell the trees and then plant the clippings again. So there's guys out here cutting the clippings on this stuff. That will then get used to be placed in there, which is fantastic. So we've got some pain left, pain back, you can tell, because fucking torches are getting done. Yeah. Alright, with that guys, um, we're going to call it an episode. Uh, please remember, if you've enjoyed the episode, to drop a like. If you want to see more Nemoria, subscribe to my channel. And if you want to tell me how to do something, or even if you just want your name in the game, drop a comment in the comment section below. Alright guys, so thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.